Hi Daily Dosers, this is Terry. Today is Tuesday, July 2nd, 2013. And I have to apologize for yesterday. I, I rarely rewatch my videos, but I'm glad I did because right in the middle of that story about the recruiter calling me, I completely lost my train of thought and didn't share with you that Last month, when that recruiter called with that great big huge fat job out in eastern Iowa, I went into a huge deep dark hole funk. Um, just the fact that I could not be considered for any job because I'm in the middle of treatment for cancer. Um, I just, my thoughts went down the rabbit hole and I stayed there for days. And it was very difficult. And this time, yesterday when the recruiter called, a different recruiter for a different job instead of going down the rabbit hole with negative thoughts I was able to tell myself that this was a positive thing because there are jobs out there when I'm done with my treatment that there's a possibility I'm going to get placed into a position and I really believe that coming out here once a day and telling you something positive about each 24 hours for the last four months has given me the tools to look at situations with a positive light instead of a negative light. I really believe that. If it wasn't for you, I would probably be sitting in a corner rocking back and forth. I'm, I'm able to look at each thing and try very hard to find the positive. And if I wasn't consistently trying to do this every single day in front of you, I don't know that I would have been able to do that yesterday. And I would have looked at another recruiter call as um, something I couldn't be considered for. But instead, I just didn't go down that rabbit hole. I was able to find the positive, which is I'm still being recruited and that I will probably be able to be placed. I was... Um, I do need to find a job. I decided to stop looking. Um, we moved in September 28th, and I decided to not look for a position until after the first of the year. Well, of course, I got diagnosed January 25th. So I haven't been able to be considered for any position since I since after the first of the year. And so instead of going in a funk about it, yay, I'm still getting phone calls, so... That's where I was going with that comment yesterday, and I rewatched and I thought, gosh, I was just so out of the blue and detached, and I didn't finish my train of thought with you. So thank you, Daily Dosers. Um, the most positive thing in the last 24 hours was a little piece of mail that I got um, from uh, when I worked at St. Andrews United Methodist Church in Omaha years ago, like 15 years ago, um, our youth group are all grown men and women, married kids. And one of the kids in my youth group has two babies, and her oldest one sent me this picture. <laughs> and I love it. It's from little Ruthie. And it just warmed my baby. Seriously, the best part of my last 24 hours. Yeah, very uplifting. Oh, I just love looking at it. It makes me happy. Okay. Thank you, Daily Dosers, so much for holding me accountable to having a positive attitude. It is working. Tomorrow morning, I go in for my infusion. Um, I don't know if I'll be vlogging from my bed in the cancer center or later in the afternoon. I have no idea what tomorrow will bring. Okay. Thank you so much for holding me accountable. I think I already said that. Whoops. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.